Hi, this is Andy Buck from ED Exam again. This is just a quick little video about a really simple, practical tip that I think you can all use at work uh, if you work in the emergency department, and that is the nasal cannula eye wash technique. And I've got to give thanks and credit where credit's due uh, to Andy Chapman, who was one of my registrars up at the Royal Darwin Hospital last year, who taught me this. Uh, Andy, this is a great tip, and I've been using it since you showed it to me, and I just wanted to spread the word because it's just so simple, so easy, and it's so much more comfortable for the patients. So basically, uh, if you get a patient with a chemical splash to the eye, an alkali or an acid splash to the eye, um, especially if uh, both eyes are involved, or patients who've had flash burns, that sort of thing, so anyone who, or a foreign body scratches who need their both eyes washed out simultaneously, basically all you do is you grab a pair of simple um, nasal prong oxygen cannula like this and you just sit them up across the bridge of the nose like that and you can just hook the hook the tubing over their eyes, it's sometimes good to actually put a piece of tape across the bridge of their nose because that will stop it moving, you don't need to put a little bit of slack on the tubing there so it doesn't rub in their eyes, you can put a bit of tape I sometimes put a bit of tape around the temple area as well there like this and so basically you've got your patient lying back with their head over the sink or with towels behind to catch the runoff and you have to do that with any, any eye wash technique. But what you can see is this directs the fluid that you're going to hook up in a minute right into the corner of each eye and then it washes it away laterally which is where you want it to go. So it's a really simple trick. Bit of tape to hold it on. Simple. Okay so the next thing you're going to be asking me is well how do I connect nasal prong oxygen which is on this crazy tubing that goes all the way around to a connector like this which is designed to jam onto the end of your oxygen tap in the emergency department to a bag of IV fluid. Well luckily I've got a, a giving set here which you can see has the chamber and things that you would normally hook up your bag of IV fluid to and it has this end on it. So how do you connect this to this? Well, there's a simple way I've figured out how to do that. That involves a thing called a mixing cannula. So most EDs have these lying around. They're a bit of clear plastic tubing with a little green nozzle on the end. That's actually removable and in an upcoming video I'm going to show you how to use this to do end tidal CO2 monitoring. But most of the time you'll find these lying around and they're designed for um, putting syringes in the end and drawing up medication out of bottles, often for sort of paediatric type medications. So, so I'll just drop the oxygen tubing, here we go. So what you do is you've got your patient with the uh, nasal prongs across the bridge of their nose, you then get the other end of this and grab your mixing cannula and sometimes you've just got to squeeze the end a little bit just to make sure it's narrow. Of course, now that I'm on camera it might not work, but if you just gently gently twist you'll see the end of the mixing cannula just fits nice and snugly into the uh, oxygen tubing end and what, what you've got then is a nice tight seal that's not coming out now uh, with your oxygen tubing connected to your mixing cannula and then all you do is you grab your IV fluid giving set and pop it in the end there. Some of them this screw thing will screw on, some of it won't, but it doesn't really matter. It's a low pressure system, it doesn't matter if it disconnects, you just jam it in there. And then that's the connection. So you've got a giving set there that you've hooked up to your bag of fluid, going into a mixing cannula, going into your oxygen tubing, and that'll just gravity feed down. You can use the uh, use the adjuster on the uh, on the giving set to decide here how fast or slow you want it to go and your patient will be lying there quite comfortably with their uh, their nasal prongs across the bridge of their nose like this. So it's a really simple technique. Got to say thanks again to Andy Chapman for showing it to me. Uh, you can improvise with the connectors. If you can find other things that can make these connect then go ahead and use them and if you know any email me andy at edexam.com.au and let me know. And uh, that's it. And the one, the one reason I decided to use these instead of those Morgan lenses is because the Morgan lenses are really uncomfortable. They're a piece of plastic in contact with the eye, and even if the eyes anaesthetise, the the fluid running through tends to wash out the local anaesthetic. And I have yet to see a patient last more than about 10 minutes with the Morgan lens in before they get quite agitated and annoyed with it rubbing on the surface of their eye. And intuitively, it doesn't really make sense to me to be putting a piece of plastic 
uh, a hard solid plastic on an injured eye which is one of the most painful sensitive things you can have go wrong with you. I think this is a far more humane technique it's uh, much less painful for the patients, much better tolerated and uh, I want you all to start using it. So thanks for watching and if you've got any comments or other um, you know, great clinical tips like this please feel free to email me uh, or just get onto edexam.com.au. My contact details are there and uh, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks.